All right, so what does a girl do when she's finished school? She's got nothing to do for two weeks until graduation. Does she go out and party? No. Does she sleep all day and do nothing? Okay, partially true. Um, no, she builds something like this. Yes, this is the discussion with the 64 LEDs. Each one I can individually control from this breadboard. Yes, it's going to be very stealthy sneaking into uh, graduation with a breadboard under my gown. Anyway, I will be soldering this. So yeah, pickaxe chip, uh, Darlington, uh, just a resistor, 330 ohm. I need to make it lower probably. And then just the connectors to the hat, which I just put in black uh, shrink tubing so I can put each side around my neck so it looks more like a necklace. Not like, you know, this is going to have anything. And I've got some pictures of the underside, but as you can see, you can't really tell except for it's a little bit bumpier, but I don't think anyone's going to be looking at my hat at the bumps. They're going to be looking at the top side, which is pretty cool. So then I have the, the positives coming down to the C ports. I just have some little transistors that are pl uh, supplying a positive 5 volts. Uh, it's what I could figure out in a pinch. Um, if I can find a chip of these, I'm sure they're probably somewhere and someone will probably post for it. So let's go ahead and oh, shoot. Let me go ahead and turn off the lights first because, like I said, I need a uh, lower uh, resistance to actually get it to work. So I'll turn off the lights. And, ooh, it's all spooky. Let's see. Trying to hook up stuff in the dark is hard too. Don't play with electronics in the dark, children. Ah, there we go. So it does its first initial run. Oh, I'm going to get a little bit more intricate here. Now these are really simple. I'm not using any type of refresh to address each individual spot. I'm just playing around with it a little bit. You know, classic chasing lights like Christmas. And back to the beginning again. So those are just the bits of code I did so far. And uh, yeah, now you get to see me again. Hope you enjoy. And if you want me to post how to do this, I'll put it in a blog because it doesn't really qualify as a robot. There's no sensory inputs. It just does lights. Actually, it'd be kind of cool if I uh, added a sound. Ooh. No, I better stop right here. Bye.